Somewhere on the parched crust of my being lies this one curious spring well. It sustains me, pouring out the shadows of the past into a precarious current known as the present. She dies like that in my memory, and again and again, and I can't do anything to change anything. Except for one thing. I play the video in my head over and over again. It forever claims a place in the theater of my mind. But you know that's not how memory works. I guess. A memory is nothing but a relatively stable pattern of neural activities in the brain, and recall is far from a passive replay of a record. It's an active process that requires the same kind of protein synthesis involved in the formation of memory. But in the end, what difference does it make? Well, see it this way, Mr. Ratner. Remembering is reconstructing the past at the cellular level. Did I say that? But that's what you meant. Who decides what I meant? You? That's what we were doing. Fighting. For what? I don't even remember. We fought over such triviality. Even the night she died. Do you want to start there? Wait. How about common sense? When A says B in the context of culture slash society C, B is or is commonly interpretable as D. Oh, D is B! Nothing more! No, David. D is always more than B. D is equal to B! D is larger than B. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would like to keep that. Very well. <laughs> You're nuts. You know that. What does that mean? D. You're nuts. D-Prime, <laughs> I love you.
You want to manage that part? Yes. Mm-hmm. Simple beta blockers released in the targeted areas will inhibit the patient's stress responses as he recalls the event. This will help him reconstruct a memory in a less stressful form. How do you feel now? Better. Mm, good. What happened after you heard the noise outside the room, Mr. Radner? I grabbed a baseball bat, but he was already in the room. Yes? He had a gun. He handcuffed me to the chair, and then he bound her to the bed. And then? And then... This is what I want to erase. This picture in my head. Please do something. Anything. We can take care of the visual imagery without eliminating the factual information. We can just erase it. Mr. Radner, when a crucial piece goes missing in a coherent body of memory, it can have a powerful effect. The mind just won't let it go until it resolves the gap one way or another. You'll be better off retaining the information in a controlled form. Fine. Very good, Mr. Radner. But before we proceed to that part of the evening, let's go back a moment when you heard the noise outside your bedroom. Recall that part again. Now, let's address the problematic visual memory. Recall the moment when the intruder handcuffed you to the chair. Are you there? Yes. All right, stay there. When I say now, describe in one sentence what happened next. Avoid graphic or emotional expressions and don't visualize what you describe. The drug will help you. We are administering the visual reconstruction suppressor. Now, he sexually assaulted her. Now take the tablet and engage yourself with a distraction task. Focus, and don't think about that night or anything else for that matter. We'll continue once the suppressor wears out. We don't want to suppress all the visual imageries from the evening. Um, do you have any questions while we wait? I think some of us are trying to cope with the fact that we are artificially controlling a person's memory, which really defines his identity and the reality he lives in. Sure. It may feel that way, if you consider our own natural sense of reality, as something absolute, hard, and true. But as students of psychology, we know better. And as clinicians, and men as well, you'll soon learn that our brain is not only a wicked illusionist, but a sickest torturer of its own. Still, we managed to invent science, and through science we may be able to overcome ourselves. I play the record of my heart, over and over again. I've safely locked it up in the theater of my soul. Who decides what I meant? How about common sense? When A says B in the context of culture slash society C, B is interpreted as D. Only if D equals to B. No, David. D is more than B. <laughs> You're nuts. You know that. What does that mean? That I love you.
Dzieci. David. Hold on, honey. They're coming to help. I love you so much. Don't slip away. Stay with me. I have such beautiful memories of our life together. How sad I can't keep them anymore. Remember me, won't you? With a smile, no tears. I'll remember you. I'm an ever-flowing stream of memories. The precarious current, known as the present. <laughs>